What's up everybody, Hitman Blood here, and I'm doing this video for my friend Big C. He wanted a video showing you guys how Need to Know works, and I will be telling you guys how that does happen. And also, I got another add-on that I will be going over. It's called Karthus Hunters Timers. I'm gonna show Big C the uses of Need to Know and the uses of Karthus Hunter Timers and why I think the latter is better. First off, we have Need to Know window up here. You're going to have this little thing you can click. You can make it bigger, larger. You can leave it in the middle of the screen. I don't know why you would want to do that. But then you could just make it small and make it, make it nice and organized and put it on the side. Here we're going to click Enable Bar. So they might be shadowed out. If there are, just right click the bar, click Enable Bar. Here we're going to click Choose Buff slash Debuff the Time. For the purpose of this video, I'll be showing you some basic hunter abilities that you get at lower levels. Here we're going to click choose buff or just debuff to time. When you're here, you need to make sure you type the ability that you want to time correctly. For example, mend pets. You need to make sure all the capitals are there, all the spaces and all that yada yada. Hit accept. Then what you need to do is choose the bar type. Mend pet is a buff since, it, since it's on your pet. It's uh, what you need to uh, set it to. Make sure you put your mouse over bar type and click on buff. For bar settings, you click the units, the monitor, then you go to pet. This will enable the add-on to track what kind of health you have on your pet and when men pet is counting down and all that good stuff. Then you can click go to bar color, and you can drag whatever color you want. You could test it out. You can. I like green, for example. Green is like a men petish color. Click green. Okay. Then we're going to type in your chat window, slash NTK. Make sure you put this little bar wherever you want it. Make it all small or big you want. I like it like this. Then I will type uh, NTK in the chat bar. Hit enter. There we go. You're like, oh, what happened to it? Oh, my God. No. No, you sli slash NTK. That brings it back up. If you want to put it away, I really suggest you do because that's the only way to get it enabled. Once it's hidden, here I'll activate MenPet. And there we go, there you see it's counter timing down, showing you the remaining se se seconds. Ah, I can't pronounce that for some reason. And once it hit zero, then you know to recast MenPet. That's a great way for when you're soloing, when you're out questing, make sure your pet is always healed up. And let's do another one for our friend Big C. Here we're going to track our Serpent Sing debuff timer. Over here, make sure enable bar is enabled. Choose the buff slash debuff the time. Here we're going to type in Serpent, Sting, click hit Accept, make sure you type the name right or it's not going to work and you're going to be like, oh, Hitman Blood lied to me and all that stuff. Then we're going to go to Bar Type. Serpent Sting is doing damage to your target. So Serpent Sting is going to be a debuff. There's stuff like Totems and all that stuff, but we're Hunters, we don't need to worry about that. If you have any other class abilities, you can use this to make it a buff, debuff, totem, spell cooldown, eternal cooldown, spell usable. For the purpose of Serpent's thing though, we're going to need to have it at debuff. Once it's at debuff, then we're going to go to debuff settings. Make sure you're hovering over debuff settings. Unit it to monitor, and then we're going to click target. I mean, you can do whatever other one you want, but it's going to be target, because that's the one you're going to be focusing main on. Hit target. Go to bar color, make sure you change it to whatever color you want. I'll make it reddish, dark red, blackish, whatever. Let's make it pink. We'll make it pink, even though Serpent's thing is a green ability, whatever. Hit OK, slash NTK. That hides the bars, enables them. Then you will target your target, then you will fire off a Serpent's thing. I'll fire off a Serpent's thing. And there we go. We have Serpent Sting counting off. Let's fire at Men Pet also. Look at that. Bam! Men Pet is going down. See, this is awesome. This is a great way to know what abilities you have going down and how much seconds are left on each. Oh, Serpent Sting's going down. Reapply it. Men Pet's down. Reapply it. This is great. I'm also doing another one. Here we go for the purpose of the video. Slash NTK. Here, I'll right click this. I will choose the buff to debuff the time. What should I pick? What should I pick? What do Hunters use the most? Let's use Hunter's Mark. Let's type in Hunter's Mark. Make sure you get the apostrophe, all that good stuff, all the capitals, and then you hit Accept. Right click here. Click the buff, bar type, whatever. Hunter's Mark will be a buff since it's on your target. It's not doing any damage. It's not doing all that stuff. So make sure you have a buff going down. Then you click Bar Settings. Then you click Unit to Monitor. And make sure you have Target up. 
because you can't put Hunter's mark on yourself. Hit target, then you can get a bar color. Let's make this a nice dark cherry red for you guys. So it's not gonna work because we have Serpent's thing as red. Let's make this blue. Like I said, these colors have no correlation of what I would choose. This is just for the video. Hit OK slash NTK, and there we go. Let's have Hunter's mark applied. Excuse me, earlier I told you that Hunter's Mark had to be a buff. I made a mistake. Hunter's Mark is a debuff since it's counting down on your opponents. Make sure it's clicked on debuff. There we go. I'm sorry about that, and let's get back. Let's put a Hunter's Mark on this guy. Wow, the timer is going down. Now let's see them all in conjunction. There we go, Serpent's thing. Then we got a Men Pet. Where the hell did I leave? There we go. Now we have all the timers going down. Reapply whatever you need to apply. Now... Here's a second add-on that I really, really recommend. I think it's better than Need to Know, even though Need to Know is more customizable for any class, you know. But at least for Hunters, I recommend you use Kartha's Hunters Timer. And then I'll move this recount out the way. I will drag this over. And bam, there you go. This, in my opinion, is a lot more detailed and clearer than this. Let's just, for the purpose of the video, let you show how this is a good add-on type in slash khd and then you have a whole bunch of options so type in slash khd menu khd menu hit enter and there we go we have a whole bunch of uh, options and stuff if you're beast mastery spec marksman spec then we got survival pets michelangius trinkets this is why i love this so much because it has so many customizable abilities and all that stuff. You have the distance between the bars, colors, everything. And the thing is, you don't have to type anything in. That's how cool it is. You don't have to type in like the hunter's mark. You don't have to type in go to that buff, debuff, all that crap. Once you have this add-on installed, it does everything for you. You can just drag this wherever you want. Let's say you don't want... Uh, where is it at? Auto shot. Let's go to marksman. Auto shot. You don't want auto shot counting down. You hit apply. Bam, the auto shot's not refreshing anymore. Auto shot, you want it back. Apply. Bam, it's counting down. This is the awesome, awesome reason why I love this so much. Now, this is a lot more detailed. For Hunter's Mark, for example, it shows you down to the millisecond why this add-on is better than Hunter's Mark or Need to Know. This just shows you you have general three minutes left. You don't really know how many seconds left. How to reapply it. If you have like ten seconds, it's not showing you on time. So here we're gonna just pop some cooldowns. There we go. Rapid fire is going off. Let's go. Bistro Wrath is going off. Let's throw up a Men Pet. Men Pet's going on. Misdirection is going on. All this stuff. Then we got Serpent's thing up there. Then we got. We had all this goodies. This is what I really like about this add on. And you could also use your trap launcher. Then you could fire off a trap. Bam. Shows you Ipe Trap Prime. There we go. There it's activated. That's the aura. This is why I really like Karthus Hunter's Timer is better than Need to Know, and that's why I suggest that Big C uses this, and maybe he'll like it, maybe he'll like the Karthus Hunter's Timers, maybe he'll like the Need to Know, whatever he likes, I hope he loves it, and alright, this is Hitman Blood, till next time.